Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 12 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about file system utilities in Azure Databricks. So, in our past videos, we have discussed about Databricks utilities. We have also discussed about Databricks file system. So, please watch that videos before coming to this video. All the videos in the Databricks playlist are in a sequence order. So, I will encourage everyone to watch those videos in the same order. So, this video is dedicated for file system utilities in the Databricks utilities. So, let's try to give a very quick recap. So, there is something like DB utilities module. So, this module contains lot of utilities. So, one of the module inside or one of the utility inside that DB utilities is file system utility. So, we have seen that in our past video, right? So, let me go to uh, Databricks, uh, I mean browser here. So, this is my Databricks workspace. So, here, let me try to create a new notebook. And uh, let me try to name this notebook maybe like FS Utility, okay, FS Utility Notebook. And default language Python, demo cluster is the cluster I am attaching with this notebook. So let me hit this create button to create this notebook. If I go to, uh, so this is the notebook I created. And this, uh, uh, if I go to compute menu, I have already created a cluster called demo cluster. And the same cluster I am attaching there. <laughs> now let me go to notebook once again. So this FS Utility Notebook. And let me open this notebook. So in our past videos, we discussed right. So there is something called DB utils, and uh, this module contains lot of utilities. I can use help here to see what and all the modules available inside it. So let me hit Shift Enter, or you can even hit this Run button to run this command. So the moment you execute this command, it is going to list down all the utilities available inside this DB utilities. So let me try to zoom little bit so that you can see this properly. Okay, see these are all the utilities and this video we are going to discuss about this file system utility. So inside this file system utilities, if you want to know what and all the commands available, so what you can do on this DB utils package or module, use this FS attribute and then use this help function and run this code by hitting shift enter. So now if you see this gives the complete documentation of this file system utility and also what and all the commands available inside this file system utilities. So this file system utilities will contain all these commands and also it contains some commands or some functions related to mounting and all. So these commands we will discuss in our upcoming video. So this video we will focus only on these commands. Okay. So now all uh, for example if you so there is something called command cp or function cp that helps you to copy a file or directory possibly across the file system. So if you want to know like more documentation about this particular function, you can even do that. So here inside this uh, help function, you can pass the command name for which you want to see the documentation and execute that cell by hitting the shift enter. Now if you see, you will get a complete documentation of that command alone. So now if, if I go to presentation, this, DB, this file system utility which is FS will actually allow you to access the Databricks file system and it will make you easier uh, to work with the Databricks file system. So, and uh, these are all the commands available like CP for the copying the data, HED head is for uh, reading the data from that content actually. So, LS will list down the content from that folder. For example, if you supply a folder to it, it will give you the list of the folders and files inside that particular folder. MKDIRS, that means make directory. This will help you to create a directory. And this mount mounts. This we will discuss in our upcoming video. MV will help you to move the file in the Databricks file system. And put will help you to add content to the file. Okay. And again, this refresh mounts we will discuss in our upcoming video. RM will help you to remove the file. Or And this uh, unmount and update mount commands we will discuss in our upcoming videos. So, D what is this DBFS? You, I have already explained that in our past video, right? So, if you go to uh, Databricks workspace, there is something called data menu here. When you click this data menu, here you will see this DBFS menu. Hit the DBFS tab and here you can see the entire thing. See inside this DBFS, uh, I have a file store folder. Inside the file store folder, I have shared up uploads folder, tables folder, temp folder. For example, if you insert this temp folder, if I double click it here, so I have all these files and all. So you can properly see this. In your case, if you are not seeing this DBFS menu here, then you need to enable some setting actually. So I have explained that also in our past video. So you need to go to settings and you need to go to admin console. And under the admin console, you need to go to workspace settings. And here, you need to navigate to the advanced section here. And inside the advanced section, you will be seeing DBFS file browser. So you need to make sure to enable this. So I have already done it, right? So now, let me go back and let me open my uh, notebook here once again. 
so fs utility notebook right so let me double click and open and let me go to presentation now so let's try to understand each and every each and every uh, command here with some sample data so as i said cp command will help you to copy file from one location to another location that means this location file will be still there and a new file will be created with the same content of that old file in the different location whatever you mention here as a second parameter so let me practically show you that so if i go to data menu if i go to dbfs so let's assume under file store under file store under temp folder i have this new demo dot new demo file dot csv so or maybe i have this abcd dot text file so i want to copy this file uh, into some other folder maybe like temp one so let me do that so let me hit this copy and let me copy this path here path of the file and let me close it here so what i want to do under file store i want to have a folder called temp1 and inside that folder i, I want to keep move copy this file abcd.txt as a maybe x mn mno.txt something like that so let me do that here so let me hit this data menu to minimize this and here as i said let's use this cp command to the cp command you need to pass to first is the path from where you want to copy the file so this is the file i want to copy and second path is going to be uh the destination path so maybe we under the file store i want to have a folder called temp1 and i want to copy that file there you no need to keep the file name same you can keep different name also so what i can do maybe mnop.txt so even i can keep the different name as well so now if i hit this shift enter button it is going to execute this command you get a output like true that means file have file already copied into temp1 folder so what i can do i can go to data folder to make sure that and click this dbfs tab here and if you see temp1 folder is created and inside the temp1 folder i can see my text file also so that's how uh, this copy command will help you to copy the file the next is head command so this head command actually help you to read the content from the file and display to you so what i can do the same mnop.txt file i want to read the content from it so let me minimize this data menu here so what i can do i can use this head command to the head command i can supply the path so let me supply this path here so from this folder mnop.txt file this is the file i want to read so hit this shift enter button it is going to read the content and give you okay there is a syntax error so let me remove this one so okay so okay let me remove this so in a single quotes you need to keep this path shift enter now a command executed see inside this file i have a content like this is data bricks for example from this file i want to read only starting four characters or five characters even that is possible so what you can do as a second parameter you can supply the uh, number of bytes you want to copy or are you want to take or you want to read so let me hit this by hitting the shift enter button so now you can see it is only displaying this why because i said only give me four characters from that content okay so let's go to presentation and there is something called mkdars this will help you to create the directories so for example let me go to data menu so i have under file store i have multiple folders right if i go to file store under file store i have this uh, uh, uh these many folders so maybe what i want to, uh, i i want to create a new folder here and i want to name that folder i like maybe data so i want to create the data directory here so how to do that let me minimize this here so i can use what is the command if you see this screenshot mkdars so make directory so let me use this mkdars make directories and here maybe under file store i want to have a folder called data okay so now remove this second parameter here so mkdars make directories so that is what the command right mkdars and then we are giving a path which you want we want to create it so hit shift enter to run this command we got output as true that means folder created if i go to data and if i go to dbfs and if i go to file store if i go to file store i have data folder as well okay so and there is one more command called this rm this rm command will help you to remove any file our directory okay so for example maybe i want to remove this data folder only so what i can do i can simply use this uh, rm command uh, as i mentioned here to remove that so let me hit this shift enter button to remove the directory see directory removed now if i go to data folder and uh, if i go to dbfs and if i go to file store uh, okay let me come back let me come back here see data folder itself is missing and maybe i want to remove this uh, temp1 folder and mnop.txt file even that is possible so let me copy this path here so under file store temp1 folder this text file so let me copy this path here and let me minimize so i want to remove so let me remove this path here so this mnop.txt file also i want to remove so let me hit this shift enter button see it 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 didn't true that means the file might have deleted already so if i go to dbfs 
and see and the temp1 that file itself is missing so let me go to presentation and there is something called ls command that will help you to list down the all the items from that path so for example under file store i have these many look these many folders and all right so i want to list down all of them so very easily you can do that so let me go here and here use this ls command that means list and uh, you give a path so maybe i want to list down everything from the file store so hit shift enter button see there is a shared uploads folder there is a tables folder there is temp folder there is temp1 folder so everything it listed down okay so and the next thing is move command so move command actually help you to move the file from one location to another location so that means once the file moved in the old location you won't see the file so let me practically show you this so if i go to data menu and if i go to dbfs under file store i have something called temp folder so inside the temp folder i have this abcd.txt file so let me copy this abcd.txt right so i want to move this file abcd.txt file i want to move it into temp1 folder so under the temp1 folder right now nothing is there under the temp folder we have abcd.txt file so let me minimize this here and let me use this move command to the move command i am giving a path which i want to move i want to take this abcd file from the temp folder and then i want to move it to temp1 folder with the same name maybe abcd.txt so let me execute this command now see command executed successfully now if i go to data menu and if i go to dbfs under file store if you see under temp folder i don't see abcd.txt now but if i go to temp1.txt i can see abcd.txt file here so that means the file is moved from the temp folder to temp1 folder it's not a copy it's move okay so let me go to the presentation and the last thing is put command this put command will help you to add content to any file if the file is already there you need to make sure you supply this boolean flag as true that means it will overwrite the file if the file is not there it will create a new file so let me practically show you this so right now under temp1 folder we have abcd.txt file right let's see what content we have inside that file so how we can see that as i said we can use this head command and maybe uh, inside this let me remove this so in this abcd.txt file under temp1 folder what is the content we have i am trying to see that so hit this shift enter button see this has a content called this is databricks so now what i want to do i want to use a put command and i want to update this content so what i want to keep maybe i want to keep content uh, inside this uh, file as hello world maybe okay and now if i execute this it is going to fail so let me run this see why it is it failing because it says file is already exist so inside this path with this name already there is a file there so it is giving this error so if you want to avoid that error you need to supply a boolean here lastly like true so that means what it will do if the file is already there it is going to overwrite that file okay so for example uh, let me run this first and show you that see now it is executed successfully so now what i will do let me copy this code and this time i i want to see the content inside this abcd.txt file so previously it has a content called uh, data, hello uh, this is databricks right so now it should have a content called um, hello world why because that is what the content i have supplied so let me run this code see it printed hello world okay so for example if if i use like this abcd1 or maybe like this let me see mnop.txt so under the temp1 folder there is no mnop.txt folder txt file so if i go to dbfs under the temp1 there is only one file and there is no file called mnop.txt so that is the reason here if i don't supply this boolean value that means default it will take it as a, a false and what it will do it will going to create this file without any error why because the file is not there so let me run this code see it created a file now if i go here i should see that file so let me go to dbfs under temp1 see mnop.txt file also is there and if i try to read the content from it it will have a content called hello world why because that is what i have supplied so how to see that so same head maybe here i i will so i want to see a content from mnop.txt file so let me hit shift enter see it printed so this is all this is all, this is what all about this file system utilities inside the databricks utilities and there are couple of commands Uh, inside the file system utility which is help you to mount the external storages with your database file system so that you can access those storages as if you were accessing a local file system like as if you are accessing a files inside the database file system don't worry i am going to explain that in in detail in our upcoming video so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i upload videos thank you so much